These are some high level tricks you can use on your Google images to get more buys from your customers. I know increasing your conversion rates is not rocket science, but it's not that simple. And also, you probably heard a lot about the right way to optimize your listing. But with all the experience we have, I'm gonna teach you what we do and how we become effective. Yeah. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you and teach you the best tricks to work on your secondary images, specifically lifestyle images with illustrations, examples, so you can truly understand the hacks. But first, what are lifestyle images? This that you're reading is very important. Why is it important? It's important because people don't like to read. Right now, we're in the phone. I'm recording on my phone right now. So they want to have all the information as fast as possible and get all the ideas and get all the necessary information and the story with just as little or as fast as possible. Lifestyle images are the best way to show and how your product works in real life. Why? Because you're communicating the benefits already of the product just by showing it. So instead of telling the person, hey, these are scissors to groom your, um, specialized to groom your head's hair, you show them, hey, these are scissors specifically for this and then tailored for this. Let's tell a story, all right? A woman logs into Amazon and searching a new set of food cans for a kitchen. She scrolls down through the listing, she clicks on a specific product, she sees a beautiful picture of a mother and her kids mixing the cookie dough together while laughing. She thinks, how great would it be to make to make cookies with my kids and have fun with it? Furthermore, she clicks add to cars and buy the products. So why is she doing this? You tell her story and you're connecting with a buyer person. You're telling her, hey, this could be you. So you transmitted that message for her. Obviously, it's gonna depend on the buyer persona. Ingredients for the best lifestyle images. Again, target audience. Understanding your customer, who the customer is and why they should buy from you. Why should they spend their hard-earned money on your product? Why your product and not somebody else's product, which is most likely more affordable in this economy? Even if you save $10, that's a lot of money for a lot of people. So why should they buy your product even if it's more expensive? Just because of reviews, better quality, tells the story better, they connect with it better, right? Consider the demographic you're targeting and what type of lifestyle they lead. If you use a model, it really does need to be as close as typical as the buyer as possible. Age, clothing, like I mentioned, ethnicity, hair, everything that you can think of try to put it in there. Obviously, you're not gonna hit all the nails at once. Maybe this represents only 50%, and then the other 50% is diverse. At least you targeted the 50%. Use a clean background, be aesthetically as possible. The quality of the listing translates to the quality of your product. What does that mean? That means impressions and looks matter. Unfortunately, that's just how the world is a lot of times. So if your product doesn't look pleasing, aesthetically pleasing, or it doesn't look like something somebody else would buy, most likely they're not gonna buy. Lighting, depending on the product, use natural lighting or soft lighting, something that evokes cleanliness and soothingness. Depends on the product. If you're going for Halloween products, obviously gotta be different. Maybe if it's a product that's for Valentine's Day, maybe it's a little bit more romantic, so it depends on the intentions. It depends on the person's intentions when they're buying it. Something that's very important for your lifestyle images and people don't really pay attention to it are props. What are props? Props is any relevant item that relates to your product or the use of your product. So make sure that your product is the center of attention for all the props and use three props in the image, no more than that, depending again. This is not written in stone, everything's flexible, okay? Location and background, it's very important. Why? Because it tells, it helps you tell the story. So make sure that you are telling and using the correct locations and background. If you have a very low budget and you cannot make a, a scene, try to use outdoors, try to use somewhere that you can save as much money as you can. You can create your own location and background, like I'm showing here. So for example, we see this cream, we see this one hydro boost in the right. This was actually for the cell scale helium 10 uh, events. Hey! So when we work with the client, we take care of all the photo shoot details. You don't have to take care of anything. We do everything for you. So you spend the time scaling your business. So make sure that you, you know, you reach out, send us an email or just scan this QR code and, and make sure that you schedule a, a quick call and we can see how we can help you take care of everything for you. So you don't have to do anything to sell, make money. You could also use AI tools. If you're a very low budget and you're taking things with your phone or, or by yourself, there are a bunch you can use out there. And if you need any help, just device in the plan, you can also reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help you. The most important is the story. Content is king, but the story is the most important part. How you tell the story, we can also help you with that if you want to do it on your own. Make sure that you showcase different usage of your products. So for example, this was a wooden box to store your jewelry. So as you can see here, it's nightstand. That's why there's a clock here. 
bathroom, amenities, right? And then general. So you can see different ways to use it. Show the parts, ingredients, and accessories. If it has a lot, make sure you tell them the story completely. Like, hey, it's not just the clay. It also comes with all the other tools, right? So you have the little trim and all that. You tell them everything that it comes with. As well as like, hey, this is not just a doggy poop holder. It also has a lot of capacity. You can take it out, different usage. Lifestyle images by themselves are not enough. If you want to have a balance within your listing and tell the story correctly, you need to have a balance within other images, such as infographics, comparison images, and much more. So if you create all the other images and balance it out, you're gonna drastically increase that conversion rate. Watch this video so we can show you what they are and how to create them.